An unusual scan pattern was detected. Fly in close and explore! From Brius. Okay, Brius. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Predator mode! What's up, everyone? This is Amadrino, and I'm playing Spore as an alien spaceship. What's happening? <gasps> What's that about? He just came and checked it out and left. <clears throat> we have destroyed a settlement that I was hoping to capture. It did not work out that way. And now we are in need of repairs, and we have to sell some spice because of mission stuff. Just because. So, we're not going to make much profit, but I'm thinking we're just going to do... We're just going to sell it to these guys. Um, just because. To, to do the thing, you know? I'm just going to sell one. What's this? 112,000 for a colony in Credipec. I'm going to go ahead and recharge and repair because I need it. <clears throat> I don't I don't know if I can like capture return to home planet. Let's do that. I'm gonna have to figure out if I can actually, you know, capture uh colonies like I did with the cities on the planet. <coughs> Ah! Somebody was attacking me. Alright. Return to home planet. Because... I mean, that's how I took over the world, was military, you know? So, and now I blow up something and... Good job! Keeping the coffers of our treasury full allows you to purchase more tools for your spaceship. Pay for your repairs and recharging, build up more colonies, as well as contributions to other empires to help build relationships. We have plenty more missions for you to take on if you choose. Let's do it! It's imperative that we jumpstart our space exploration program by exploring more of the galaxy. We know there are other aliens out there to make contact with. We know... There are more solar systems and planets waiting to be discovered. We are beginning to outgrow our home world of Imaginar. We should definitely see about finding other suitable planets to colonize. There's so much to do! Are you ready to accept the mission? Yes! Explore the universe, expand our empire, interact with races! Alien races! Talk right! Okay. Um, I think we should expand. I really do. I think that's a good thing. Expansion. When it comes to expanding our empire, we have several different options. We can start from scratch and build a colony on an uninhabited planet. We can also set up a trade route with another empire's planet, eventually enab enabling you to be able to purchase their system. We can always take someone else's planet by force, but that will definitely make enemies. No matter... Okay... No matter how you decide to expand, it's going to take a lot of capital. Best way to make more spore bucks is by trading spice with other empires. Colonies are great for making spice. Um, so there's no option to like give me a quest to go blow somebody up. It's like terraform trade route. Let's do the terraform thing. Ah. Uh, Yes, Captain Tiger Squid. As you know from your exploration of the universe, we are very lucky to find such a nice planet on which to establish our colony. If we're going to become a galactic force, we must learn how to improve the atmosphere and temperature of a planet. This can make a suboptimal planet ideal for colonization. Completing this mission will earn you 10,000 spore bucks. Let's do it. Basically, terraforming is like adjusting a planetary thermostat and humidifier. Get the water level and temperature just so, and voila! You have a habitable planet. 
Bring the terraform score of a planet of planet Adonia to a T score of one, making it much more hospitable for colonies. Okay. The power to control a planet's T score is something we're just beginning to understand. We will give you a few basic tools to help you in your efforts. Use them wisely. They're all we have. Okay. One more thing. You will need to fill the food web as you go. A population of plants and animals is what keeps a planet's T score stabilized. Make sure you have plants first. We trust you know how to collect these specimens. Okay, so we're going to abduct some, abduct some plants and some animals. Transplanting a variety will likely take you several trips. A full variety. Let's do it. We've identified a suitable candidate for terraforming, which would make any colony proud to call home. Don't you think Adonia of the Naka system is the perfect choice? Didn't we already do that? I mean, well, not terraform, but we have a colony there, so... It makes sense. Okay. Safe flight. Look forward to... Okay. One other thing. Let's recharge. What do you have here that I can... The Incredipack costs more here than it does at the other place. Ooh. What I got? I got something. Earned a badge. Missionista 1. I've completed five missions. Tools unlocked. Drought generator, atmosphere generator, energy pack, and small energy storage. That's cool. So we're going to go back to Adonia and terraform it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I guess we're going to go down to the planet. Food web mo We didn't go get animals or plants. I don't... Oh, what have I done? This button toggles between the minimap and the food web monitor. The target on the left shows the atmosphere and temperature. Okay, so that's like, okay, cold and hot and dry and humid, maybe? Um, the center ring represents an ideal T3. So T3, T2, T1, we're a zero! But it's inhabitable. I guess the outside is the habit habitable zone. I forgot to go get plants. What am I thinking? There's not going to be anything on there. I don't know what I was thinking. Go back here. We're just going to spread the same plants and animals that we have on... Oh, look at that. That's habitable right there. Why did they have me go to another system? Okay, I gotta go abduct some creatures. Okay. Cargo. Oh, wait, I have stuff. What the... They gave me stuff. Okay. Why didn't I check? Why did it... I didn't know. He didn't tell me they were giving me animals and plants and stuff. It was like, you gotta get some and put them there. They didn't tell me they were giving them to me. Whatever. Okay, so now I have them. Um, we need... Oh, I don't... Okay, so I can't put anything down now. We have to... No atmosphere and dense atmosphere. Atmosphere generator. Place on the planet to raise atmosphere levels. Oh, we'll check that out. How cool is that? Is that water? Look, there's water! I see, is it? There's water forming!
Congratulations, you've improved the T-score of this planet. Notice, a T1 planet can support life. Place plants from your cargo hold in three sizes to increase the stability of the T-score. If you don't do this quickly, the score levels will drop. Plants. Go, 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 go! Maybe I should get closer. More plants. And a large plant. Yeah! So we've stabilized the atmosphere and temperature. Notice that the plants you placed have been added to the food web grid. This planet is now ready for animal life. Place herbivores and carnivores in that order to complete the food web. Okay, so herbivore. Another herbivore. So I just need one. Is that how it works? Just, just, I'm dropping one. They don't need the shield anymore. Look at that. Colonies can be established on any planet from barren moons to lush terra score 3 oases. Fruitful colonies mine spice that can be traded. You've completed a row of the ecosystem. If you've placed a colony on this planet, you can now add buildings to it by clicking the city hall. To add more colonies, improve the T-score and complete the food web. To track an animal using radar, click on its dot in the food web. Alright, so we have a full row. We have a colony and we have everything needed to... Yeah, that's cool. How cool is that? Okay. Stop this. What's that blinking for? We need to add a factory. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? No, not that. What are you doing? I just I just want the same ones that's on Oh, here we go. Where's the ones? Where's Where's the one I made for the other place? Did I do this one? It looks like I did that. Whatever! Let's do that one. No! Why am I hitting the wrong button? Pushing the wrong buttons. This button. That button. Okay. I will get the hang of this. What's with that one? Okay, um, ooh, turrets are expensive. Factory! Everything's expensive! Okay, so I have three happiness and 36 spice an hour. Okay, good. I got a reward, a, a badge. Placed five buildings and I get a mini pulse, mini auto blaster, and small health. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got a badge!
Congratulations, you are now bestowed with the title of Commander! Oh yeah. I am Commando! Return to your homeworld for further instructions. Look how pretty this planet is now. It's totally... It's totally cool now. That is so awesome. And they're traveling back and forth and stuff. I need to do that one. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I can just talk from here. Great job! Planet Andunia is temperate and beautiful now. My grandparents are even thinking of a winter vacation home there. Here's 10,000 Sparlocks. Recharge. Missions. Ready for work? Alright, what do you got? Explore, expand, interact with other alien races. Oh. I mean, I'm all about some exploration. I mean, expansion. We we need more. Uh, oh, they want me to do a trade route with another empire. Not that right now. Let's do... Explore. Okay. The galaxy is vast and there's much to explore. There are undiscovered planets, new life forms, and other sentient species out there just waiting for you to find them. Fly to as many different planets as you can. During your journeys, you will encounter different animals, strange planets, different civilizations, and discover secrets. As you move forward with your exploration, you will earn badges that will unlock new tools for you to purchase. Okay. Paint planets. Hunt for artifacts. Let's do the artifact thing. Um... An artifact hunter, are you? There are plenty of interesting collectibles sprinkled throughout the galaxy waiting to be discovered and collected. They're often rare and can be parts of a valuable collection or potentially sold to other empires. In addition to this precious object, we also compensate your search with 5,000 bucks. I need to travel and uncover the location of rare items. When you enter a solar system, mouse over the various planets. If a planet shows a yellow signal that has a rare item on it. Okay. Alright. Uh, abduction beam, pick it up. Yellow signal. Well, let's go see if we can't find us a yellow signal. Well, there it is right there. Look at that. Garricum. You can't approach this gas giant, it's too dangerous. Oh! <laughs> okay, not that one. We're not going to Garricum, we're going to Boof. An unusual scan pattern was detected. Fly in close and explore! From Brius. Okay, Brius. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Predator mode! What is that? Oh, it's an arm. Okay. Radar. Radar's not blipping. That way. Abduction beam! Alright! The Torch of Chalmers from the collection of ten rare statues. How cool is that? Well, let's go let them know. I seem like I moved faster. That's interesting. Maybe that's just me. Okay! Congratulations! You can now sell your rare item or place it at one of your colonies as a trophy. Awesome! Recharge for free. Alright, well that's going to do it for now. We have collected a rare statue and uh, terraformed a planet. That's pretty cool. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification icon down there. Let you know when I put more of these videos up. I'm going to be continuing with this, so uh, hope you're looking forward to it like I am. It's 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 fun. We're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna do some interactions with some other races. Maybe set up a trade route or something. We'll we'll see what happens. But uh, y'all have a good one.